Right folks, we've gone urban again. Now we're coming into a part of the world um, where I used to, to work and hang about back in the early 90s. So we'll just have a little look around this area where Jag used to, used to play. Right now, behind me there folks, this is where my world basically changed on this sort of spot right here. It's where I got out my old car, my red tatty mini, and I thought about going in here for a job. It was called the Royal. It was a bingo hall. And I've been unemployed for a couple of weeks. Uh, and the job was advertised here as a, an administrator. So I thought, yeah, I'll go and do that. So I came up here and here was the bingo hall. It was a right tatty rundown looking thing. Here's what it used to look like. So I walked in and the rest, as I say, is history. So this is where it all started, folks. If I hadn't gone in here, then who knows what or where I would be. So I've come out just right here, folks. This, this used to be the front door right here. And it was here that I first met Rosie. I met my wife at the bingo. Yes, I did, folks. Uh, it was later taken over by, oh, I can't remember who it was now, Robertson's or something. It was a furniture company who took it over and they used it as a warehouse until eventually it got demolished and made into these wonderful flats. Now, Bro and I did something about cinemas last week, so it's kind of got a connection to that because it used to be a cinema as well. Right, so this is where this, the, uh, the bingo hall would have come all the way down to here. And as you can see, it's still got, there used to be a, a stage up there where I used to call bingo on. Um, and down here was the cellar that used to flood. It used to take the hoovers out and, oh, goodness me, it was a disaster. And then down here was the local pub. It was called Joe Barton's Bar right here so we used to come down here and hang out with the uh, it, was, it was great back then the punters and the staff used to mix and we'd sit down and have a drink afterwards and those who had won would buy me a drink and I would get the last bus home at half 11 staggering around the place I was actually shuffle a moment there it is called the lion because this is lion street right here now our sister she used to live here I can't remember which one it was now which one did she stay was it one here I can't remember, folks. But anyway, so it's quite a lot of jag history in this area. And right behind me there, we have the uh, Arthurston uh, Medical Centre, where I went out with the girl there, Susan. I went out with her just before I met Rosie. So yeah, the whole area is steeped in the history of jag lives. Some graffiti here as well. So sort of like printing and stuff. I don't know if this is still open or not, man. It looks pretty derelict to me. Oh, no, it's lights on, man. So it must still be open. Walking fast, walking fast, walking very fast. Now we're walking there, folks. fast, Next walking bank, fast, walking Dundee back. Savings Bank. It's now at the Alba Chiropractory, Chiropractory building. Awesome, folks. The Alba Chiropractory building was where I had to go and get my shoulder seen to or as I think I was went there for about uh, three months a 25 pound a pop it's quite expensive and when I say a pop I mean a pop they used to bang take you over and put you into all sorts of funny positions and things oh my goodness me but uh, it did help for a bit but my shoulder's still pretty knackered anyway but uh, so there we go I was used to go there I think it was every Monday afternoon I used to go now the kilt hire shop that used to be king bargain king buyer sorry uh, and I know the guy who works there and well, he worked there, he sold it up but he was the brother of uh, the famous Dundee rock star Billy McKenzie yes indeed now that used to be the club bar was it the club bar? not the club bar, sorry um, what was the club? Oh, I can't remember now the cask, that was it, the cask there used to be the cask right there and again, Rosie and I had many a, a lock-in in that pub there before getting a taxi home I hope to see what it is Vic Chalmers Guitar Centre. It never seems to be open. It's closed, look. Behind here, folks, I bought uh, my first acoustic guitar when I had my flat up in Whitfield. And I'd been working over the Christmas period, so I'd got myself a few under quid together. And I thought I'd treat myself to a nice acoustic guitar. And I came down here. They only had like three or four left-handed guitars, but uh, one of them I did I did buy, I think it was £220 or something. So, but after many years of playing it and learning to play guitar on it, uh, the bridge kind of snapped off. It was a right shame. 
love that guitar. Anyway, never mind. Now again, the Windsor Bar, yes, very famous in the Jag Lives world. Used to go there quite a lot as a right rundown sort of place, but used to be full of great characters. Used to love it in there, and it was only a pound a pint. I'm not sure what it's like now, it's fair prices. But yeah, I used to like going in there, as I said, wonderful people in there. The Albert Bar, yes. There'd be many colours in this time, it seems to be green at the moment. But I didn't really go in there too often, but uh, yeah, again, I, had, I think it was a pound a pint back in the day as well. Now, just over the road there, used to be a place called The Dairy, where I used to go and get my filled rolls before I went to work. Now, it's very unfortunate, because when the bingo closed, a lot of the shops in the Albert Street area kind of closed, well, didn't close, but they kind of lost all the business that the bingo, that the bingo used to used to bring in. Um, the dairy there in particular, that closed down, man, that was a right shame, feel sorry for them. And a lot of the other businesses, just because the community spirit that was brought into the, the place kind of died off a wee bit, it was a shame. So there we go. There's some people shouting outside a, a taxi there, I don't know if it was shouting at me or not, but if it was, hello anyway. Uh, possibly the most famous pub in the Jank Lives history is the Balmore, we used to come here every Saturday night after playing five-a-side football and have three or four pints of McEwen's 80 shilling. Oh yes, what a pint, you used to get the best pint in Dundee in there, man. Maybe you still do, I don't know, but I've not been there for ages and ages. The Balmore. Ah, uh, brings back many memories. Now, man. coming up here we have Chinese, the China Palace, right there. This used to be the one where we used to stagger into after the Balmore and ask for Depends how, how well off we were. It would normally be uh, a portion of ride, 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 yeah. A portion of fried rice and a fork, please. So that was uh, that. But other times we just get chips. Chips from the Chinese were great when you were half, half, halfway there, you know what I mean? You've got to be careful what you say on your videos these days, haven't you? And especially on the. Uh, you know what, what you what you title it and what you put in your descriptions because YouTube is getting really really strict and you know I'll tell you about it later folks yeah we'll have a little discussion when we get home 